to Miss R Reads. I'm Miss Rainfrey, and with me tonight I have Pablo the Pink Parrot. This evening's story has been chosen by Neve. Hmm, I wonder if you can guess who the main character might be. Who do you think the main character might be? Pablo, have you got any ideas? Oh, not quite sure. Oh, no, I don't think it's about a parrot. Children, have you got any ideas? What kind of hat am I wearing? I think that's enough clues. Shall, shall I introduce the story to you? Here goes. Room on the broom. Now, Room on the Broom is um, all that the author, sorry, is Julia Donaldson and the illustrator is Axel Scheffler. Do you remember we've already had two stories by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler this week? Well, now here's our third. Are you sitting comfortably, Pablo? Okay. Now, Pablo, you need to remember the rules. When I'm reading, you need to try and sit quietly, okay? Okay, good boy. Okay, are you sitting comfortably, children? Fantastic, let's begin. Room on the broom. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat and long ginger hair, which she wore in a plait. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it blew off the the witch and they flew to the ground they searched for the hat but no hat could be found then out of the bushes on thundering paws there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws he dropped it politely then eagerly said as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head I am a dog as keen as can be is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. You see? Okay. Over the fields and the forests they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from her long ginger plait. Down cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree, with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said as the witch tied her plait in a bow, I am a bird, as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the, oops, over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Oh. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leapt a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, ribbit, as the witch dried the wand on a fold of her cloak, I am a frog, ribbit, as clean as ribbit can be. 
Is there room on the broom for a frog with it like me? Yes, cried the witch, so the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. Roar. I am a dragon as mean as can be and I'm planning to have witch and chips for my tea. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon blew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer and licking his lips, said, maybe this once I'll have witch without chips. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strove from the ditch and it said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch! The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered, I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in the dragon's inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone. Throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose... A truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird, a shower for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. The end. I hope you enjoyed Room on the Broom. That, that this is dedicated this evening to Neve, who chose Room on the Broom for us to read this morning. Goodbye from me until another time, and goodbye from <laughs> Pablo. Take care, everybody. Bye.